so welcome back to the next module that is project detail now we will see what project detail holds so what are the project requirements here tpcs usa is one of the leading software development company with 2000 plus employee now tpcs wants to host public facing application for its us based customer now what requirements do they want like what are the requirements do they want when they are doing all this when they are going to host a public facing application so tpcs wants to have different environments different environments for development dev then for user acceptance test uat and for production the next is hosting platform must be secure and facilitate pci compliance so they want their hosting platform to be in compliance with PCI and to be secured. So the next is they want the application needs frequent dynamic update. So hosting platform must support CI CD. So as there is a dynamic update, the hosting platform must support continuous integration and continuous delivery. They want the platform should support project management, the build and release. It should be very easy to set up upgrade and maintain the software and infrastructure must be from well-known and reputed oem or service provider and tpcs wants to go for pay as you go model as they are not quite sure how this gets adopted so these are all the requirement that a tpcs usa wants when he wants to host a public facing application for its us based customer so whatever he wants is red highlighted that is a dev uat and production environment a pci compliance and security for its hosting platform a ci cd for its hosting platform due to dynamic updates project management will build and release and it should be easy and upgrade and maintenance should be easy to set up and Yes, it wants its software and infrastructure from a well-known service provider and he wants to go for pay as per go model, but they don't know. They are not quite sure about it. So let's see what are the proposed solutions. Now, TechPledge Consulting, as he is going to serve TPCS USA, now how he is going to serve the requirements. So the proposed solutions by TechPledge Consulting are they are proposed to use Azure App Service with Azure DevOps. So as pay as per go model, they are going to give uh, Azure as a cloud platform and here Azure App Service with Azure DevOps as they want CI CD. Uh, they go with Azure DevOps and their application, the public facing application to be deployed over Azure App Services. Then TechPlace Consulting proposed to use Azure Virtual Network with ddos protection so for denial of distribution of services protection is used so to protect your ips under your virtual network and then techplage consulting re uh, recommends to use azure defender as anti-spam solution so for anti-spam solutions they recommend azure defender to register their domain they go with godaddy they propose to use Ver very sign SSL certificate for secure connections. So from VeriSign's SSL certificate, they will get their secure socket layer certificate. After that, they suggest to use Azure SQL single database with the application. So as they want to launch an application that will be consisting of their data. So here uh, from a cloud platform that they want as paper as go model, they are going to suggest to go with Azure SQL single database. After that, they are proposed to use Azure App Insight and Azure App Insight is nothing but for monitoring purpose. So the whole project that is going to be executed, that the solutions that are being proposed will all things will be monitored by Azure App Insight. So let, let me take you further and let's see how the proposed solution diagram looks. So TPCS proposed DevOps automation architecture. So TechPlace Consulting Services are providing the proposed solution through a diagram. So here you can see the developers will develop their code in a Visual Studio, that is in a .NET language. 
Then the code check-in is done in GitHub. And there comes a CI-CD pipeline. That is a pipeline where code build is in Azure pipeline. That is a build pipeline. And there is another pipeline that is a release pipeline. So once code build pipeline is done, the artifact produced by build pipeline. That is a zip folder. So what happens next? The next is artifact that is produced by the build pipeline is released for deployment by release pipelines. And then the releases are created like different versioning. If your application wants different versioning, you can create different releases for that. Then there comes three different phases. That is UAT app. So there are three different environments through which your application will go to. So for a continuous delivery, your application runs through UAT application phase, then a pre-production phase. And for continuous deployment, before production, you need an approval for that. So once the approval is done, continuous deployment is set and production comes into picture where your application is pushed towards product production. So this is overall how a proposed solution diagram looks and this picture, this project is holds and solely monitored by application inside. That is a service which is provided by Azure. So this is about proposed solution diagram. And what are the solution components? So as I was talking about, there were different things that as TechPlage Consulting Services provide for the requirements that were kept further from TPCS USA. So what proposed, uh, what solutions were proposed and what are the solution components? So here, first we look for app service. So what is app service? Azure app service lets you create apps faster with a one kind of cloud service that is qu to quickly and easily create enterprise ready web application, mobile application for any platform or any device. So, and they can deploy them on a scalable and reliable cloud infrastructure. So this is about the Azure app service and then we will see Azure DDoS protection. So as we know, DDoS that is distributed denial of service attacks are some of the largest availability and security concerns facing customers that are moving their application towards a cloud. So every property or every uh, things or all the things that comes all services comes into picture in azure is protected by azure's infrastructure ddos protection at no additional cost the scale and capacity is globally deployed so all the things like for ddos protection whatever whatever the requirements are they are provided and it helps all the azure service including all the past services like azure dns also it is protected so here, Azure VNet plus DDoS service comes into picture where it protects its uh, environment from the DDoS attacks and all the resources from the DDoS attacks. So uh, all the Azure uh, services are in virtual network. So that's why VNet plus DDoS. And then comes the Azure DevOps. So what actually Azure DevOps means? So Azure Bo uh, DevOps board actually means like it is an interface or a service of DevOps through which the teams, the teams that are working on Azure can manage their project throughout the development life cycle. So what, what, uh, what benefits you can get through Azure DevOps board that it will allow the team to track their task, work status, user stories, backlogs, features, track the bugs and defects that are noticed in the project. So overall, their management of that project can be done uh, throughout their development cycle can be done through the Azure DevOps board. Then comes the uh, next thing that is CI CD, that is Azure DevOps build pipeline and Azure DevOps release pipeline. So what actually uh, is a build pipeline and a release pipeline? So Azure Pipeline is a cloud service that we can use to build and test our code project automatically. The Azure Pipeline has a lot of capabilities such as continuous integration and continuous delivery to regularly and consistently test and build our code and ship to uh, ship it to any target so deploy it to any target that we want and with the help of release pipeline you can create a release you can create the versions you can go back to your previous uh, release 
so this is about azure devops release pipeline app inside as i said you it is continuous like monitoring tool that is provided by azure itself and with application insights a uh, feature uh, of it is a feature of azure monitor it is an extensible application performance management service for developers and devops professional so you can uh, monitor your application which is live you can monitor your live application it will automatically detect the performance the anomalies or any uh, powerful tools uh, we can combine it with that to help to solve or diagnose this issue to understand what actually the user wants to do with its application so how the monitoring is done it will continuously improve the performance and use uh, usability of that application so it works with different applications uh, including dotnet node js python hosted on premises or hybrid or on any public cloud so it also integrates with the devops process that's why we suggest and propose solution that is application insight for monitoring and the next thing is godaddy what is godaddy everyone knows what is godaddy and what actually uh, godaddy and why why we uh, why we just go to the go to that site so godaddy is a web host and domain registrar so here people want to buy some domain name they go for godaddy purchase it and with that help with the help of that domain name they can host their website with their service with that service so this is about godaddy and a version certificate were very sign certificate that is very sign is a leading secure socket layer certificate authority which enables a secure e-commerce communication and interactions for websites intranet and extranet so here we choose the most trusted mark on internet and enable the strongest ssl encryption that is available to every site visitor so it gives you a ssl certificate so this is how all the solution components come into picture when the requirements are to be met which are provided by tpcs usa so with all this solution components don't you think that this solutions and this components are really a good proposal to their requirements because everything what they needed whatever the requirements were there like they wanted a secure hosted platform they wanted uh, continuous delivery and integration so everything is provided and they were not aware or they were not sure of the cloud platform but yes azure as a cloud platform gives them pay as per go model so that's what they will pay for only the resources or the components uh, they are going to use so this is about solution component and let me take you now the next thing is we will create a lab with a high level design and we will see the cost estimation and let's create lab and see how cost estimation so let's take a break over here and we will see with, we will meet with the further module